going to be shooting two videos so if you're watching this one that means you've tuned into my makeup video it's a makeup review I have recently gotten the new Fenty foundation um, the hydrating foundation and I love it I tried it on at the store I went with like a completely naked face I'm gonna get these bangs out of my face I went with a completely naked face so I could actually make sure that this looks so crazy that I was the same color in the hydrating foundation than the original formula so I'm a 450 in the original formula and I love it I originally had the 460 I actually have both of them here so this is the first one that I had which was a 460 and it was just too red it was way too red and this is my correct color I'm actually a neutral skin tone I don't really have a red or yellow undertone you can see them side by side so now I have the 450 it actually ended up being my right color in the hydrating formula the 450 is like skin the first swipe in the store I was like Rihanna bad guy Riri this ain't fair you ain't right you ain't right because you're taking all my coins okay and I don't need that so I went ahead and I kind of splurged on myself a bit I got a lot of new makeup and I got um, a new brush as well I didn't get the new foundation brush although I could see why they created it because the formula like you might need to just like pat it on rather than like swipe it on but I still have the first foundation brush the 110 brush and it's just gonna have to do because I wasn't gonna spend 30 some dollars on a new brush uh, I already bought a bunch of makeup I was like you know what but I did get the concealer brush so I got some concealer and this is the precision concealer brush the concealer I got was color 420 so that's a big jump from 450 but I honestly the 450 was like the perfect complimentary shade just like I've seen everyone else say but I would like to be able to contour my face with my concealer so it's you know serving a different purpose than actually just concealing and I feel like this is kind of out of focus okay there we go move a little closer but since I want to have that boom bam pow I'm like if I'm buying this the first round got to be the boom bam pow because the 445 was even really nice like, but it was still just complimentary it wasn't going to give me that contour look because for me I have to reverse contour I found that trying to contour my face ew, I got the white trying to contour my face um is a struggle like the darker shades just kind of start blending into the rest of my face from what I've tried and I haven't been able to find anything that's just like darker that I don't have to set with damn near black so reverse contour works really well for me so I thought it would be a good investment to get the concealer brush as well I also purchased the setting powder and I got a sample of the primer because I used it at the store and it was bomb but I'm like I don't really need a whole new primer right now I still have um, a primer but I definitely got the setting powder unfortunately they were out of my color in 450 and in the powder like I wanted them anyone they have to ship both those to my house so right now I'm using the samples that they um, gave me to just tide me over until it gets delivered so I'm gonna go ahead and start I've cleansed my face and this is the what is soft silky hydrating primer and it is really hydrating like it feels super moisturizing like I love how this stuff feels and a little goes a long way but I love how it feels so I use a little more probably than I had to actually no this is good it, it rubs in really well it melts into your skin pretty good so I have some blemishes from ingrown hairs I was doing really good on my journey to lighten them I was using PFB chroma bright to lighten the spots on my face but the ingrowns just don't stop so it's been just kind of a consistent thing and it's not bad like it's gotten a lot better but still kind of So they told me that I should be able to pop this open because I was literally out of all of this. But I don't, should I use it? No, I'm going to use the, the hydrating just for this video. Oh, wow, okay, I actually could open it. Yeah, I could use this, you know, during the week before mine comes. I don't want to use all my sample. I'm going to use it today for the video, but just in case, you know, I want to get jazzy somewhere. So it's a, it's pretty runny. Mm. So usually I would put this on my hand and then wipe it on my face, but since it's in that little container and I can't pump it, I just put it right onto the brush and look at that, it's just like 
almost instant coverage and I'm gonna try to mimic the other brush by just like doing a stifle motion rather than a swiping motion just to pat it in so I don't have to use too much like look at that you guys that's just not even a full pump and I've got most of my face covered I'm not gonna focus too much on my forehead since I have bangs right now I don't want my hair to sweat but for the purpose of the video I'll just cover it a little bit look at that this is skin like this is my perfect color it's perfect like look at my shoulder and look at my face like what this blows my mind Rihanna you are responsible because I'm already feeling myself you're responsible for whoever cousin uncle daddy brother I snatch okay it's your fault sis bag out Riri it's your fault because look at this like super seamless and I do want just a little more coverage it's very hot outside today though so I don't want to overdo it but I'm just go so I'll probably be doing like two pumps whenever I use the hydrating formula and I'm just gonna pat it in yeah this brush gets the job done but I've always loved this brush it just applies so smoothly and seamlessly I'm like there's no need for me to get another brush I really love the brush even if the formulas are slightly different I've been using it to apply I was doing a, um, a MAC makeup to do my reverse contour a MAC foundation and I patted or used it just the same so I'm like you know what this, this brush is a miracle you can see how much I use it I wash it once in a while to get it's like poofiness back because right now it's like full of makeup but I didn't want to wash it before the video because I'd have to wait until tomorrow for it to completely dry and that's annoying so Sephora shout out to the women at Sephora um, Kayla and Portia they were so helpful and they were taking their time with me because I was like indecisive on what products I actually wanted to buy because I, I got a gloss bomb too because I had the first one well that first one was called gloss bomb oh wait no this is gloss bomb yeah the first one was called Fenty bomb or something like that but I got the diamond milk because I tried the fussy on at the store fussy was nice but diamond milk oh y'all the finished product of this because I like half did my face at the store just to kind of see what like my everyday look could be because this is an everyday foundation for me honestly I don't wear foundation every day but every day that I do darn it it's Fenty it's my regular my regular regular and the gloss bomb just was hella bomb so I jumped up to 420 with um you know their recommendations this is a neutral undertone as well so i've been doing a full face so i'm really excited to see what this full face of empty is gonna be like i need a napkin so my hands already have this is the 430 next to 450 so it is significantly lighter but it's still a neutral undertone, like I said, so let's see. Just apply this. It feels so smooth, like. And yesterday when I put the concealer on I was putting it on top of bare skin well there's primer on it but barely any primer and definitely not any foundation because I didn't put a full face of foundation on at the store I was just testing but even in the testing I was like ooh, this is gonna be something like oh, I could see the vision already mm -hmm. yes that brightened me right up and the right way for sure let's see so this brush is super soft I love that you don't need a lot of product but yeah I'm glad I got the 430 because even before it's done it's still not super like bright like it's still it goes yeah I like
like this a lot. That's exactly the effect that I was going for. Just a brightening effect. So my face can look beat. Because obviously it's good for just, a, you know, everyday skin wear. It's a second skin, that 450 and the hydrating formula looks great. But I wanted for my beat days, I'm like, I got to have something for my beat days when I want to feel super beat. And I have here this wet um, blending sponge. I don't remember what kind it is, but I'm going to buff it out at the end and then do my reverse contour down here. But I'm going to do this first or finish this. Wow. Yeah, I like this brush. Very delicate feeling. Super soft. Like. Wow, yeah, that gives me an intense contour immediately. So, obviously, I'm not done. But, whew, my nose is going to be snitched. Hmm. All right, I'm still done. So this is typically how I do my reverse contour. Just put the lighter color at the bottom, and I use my natural color to be that darker color because I never succeed with a darker color blending out on my face it just looks silly for the most part and when I set that it's gonna be really pretty I got the setting powder in nutmeg I assumed that the darkest color would be my color, but then Kayla at Sephora told me otherwise. She's like, no, you probably actually would be nutmeg. I'm like, okay, trust you, girl. So then I go, and it doesn't have that super huge oxidizing change like the other one did. But I'm gonna let it dry. You can see that it does. It is gonna oxidize a little bit, but it's not a huge change like the first formula. Like that thing be really oxidizing. I can still see my blushes. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna put this concealer on. Spot treat it. And then put my foundation over the top. I need to see what's going to work on a daily basis. What am I going to have to do to get the looks that I want? Yeah, that concealer is the truth because it did definitely covered it up when needed covering. But now I got to go back in with my 450. And cover that. Like, I know a lot of people do color correction first, and then they do their foundation and stuff, and I never really felt the need, but when I'm doing big glam, well, I'm not doing a big glam look, but just more of a beat face look, I may have to do that if I want complete coverage, because I don't necessarily look for super complete coverage whenever I'm just doing, like, I'm running out somewhere, like, not like I'm going somewhere, like, I'm trying to look like a... A super baddie or something that's when I'll spot check and do all I mean color correct and spot treat those certain problem areas I have so I contour my nose with this I can't even tell you where this came from but this is put this down the side so And this is a concealer, I believe, too. It's 
you don't need a lot because once you put too much on then it kind of ruins your look it gives you a cake face real quick if you don't use it sparingly so I have my own brush here not a fancy brush Just set this with. I love how this setting powder smells, by the way. And I'm setting my under eye first, but I am gonna end up setting my whole face with this. And I think that's where the smoothness comes in from the two different colors. I'll just go over it very lightly, adding more if I need it, but you can see where I'm adding it. Can't wait till that was one I had to order. Didn't have my color in the smaller size. You know, the girl is still on a budget. I went crazy, but I ain't crazy, you know. So that adds that transition between. I need a little more between the foundation and the concealer. Ooh, that was a big stroke. I need to do all that. And I wonder if applying it with the brush how I usually would, I mean with the um, sponge how I usually would, if that's going to be a better option. But for now, I'm just using a brush to see. Because I think it's meant to be applied with a brush. Well, she has the sponges too, so I guess I can't really say that. Let's see how it looks when I just set everything with the powder. I think it looks so natural. Like it's kind of a thing. Like. Blend it all out. Blend it all out. Mm -hmm. All right. That is what a full face Fenty looks like. It looks very natural. You can see this is like color on my face and I did do a little contour with 420 I got a little highlight in there and that's everything I'm about to finish my face and then I will come back to you guys and show you my finished casual day look okay so this is my finished look I wish I had a setting spray I'm all out of setting spray I didn't even think about that when I was buying all this makeup but I'm gonna put gloss bomb on top of this Kat Von D studded kiss cream lipstick. I should have thought about that. I don't want to get my my wand dirty. It's new. I'm just gonna pat lightly, treading lightly. So you don't need a lot of gloss bomb to be bomb. I put this stuff on at the store one swipe. And it lasted for so long. Ah, oh, I got something there. I cut it off. Cut it off. Okay. Yeah, it's like. Now I'm about to shoot my second video and do my hair. So thank you guys so much for watching and seeing how this new hydrating formula is on me because I figured I might as well keep it up. I've been posting every time I use a new Fenty foundation and now they actually have a whole new formula. Had to do that one for you guys. So tell me what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.